This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Westhost, offering premium web hosting since 1998. Rob Woodall is now a congressman from Georgia, and he held a town hall event. A woman got up and asked him, hey, what am I supposed to do under your Republican plan where you guys would phase out Medicare, right? Because, I mean, you, you would, Medicare would still give me a small voucher, but I couldn't pay my bills. She says, look, I, I retired, so I don't get insurance anymore for my company. Like, you want me to do employer-based health insurance, but I'm retired. So what, what am I supposed to do? Which I think is a great question, right? And here was his initial response. Clip five. Here you something, it's just a difference of opinion. We can agree to disagree. You want your government benefits. You want the government to take care of you. But has your employer decided not to take care of you? My question is, when do I decide I'm going to take care of me? When is that? So, obviously, it's not hard that we split. I uh, gave him significant applause there, as you heard. A lot of people were upset by the answer. Uh, but think about that answer for a second. He says, when are you going to take care of yourself, basically? But wait a minute. She paid into Medicare. <laughs> so she is taking care of herself. Now, why would you cut her Medicare payments if she paid into Medicare? That doesn't make any sense. He just doesn't want that government program at all. He wants to turn it into a private program, and he doesn't give a damn if you can't pay your bills or if you're 70 years old or 80 years old or 90 years old and no insurance company will cover you because they think you're too much of a risk. He doesn't care. He's got an ideology that says everything must be private, everything the government does is wrong, plus he gets campaign donations from people who want to convert everything into a private system so that they profit off of it. So she says, how am I going to get the insurance? And he says, go eat dirt. I don't care. Go take care of yourself. But she's like, but I did, I paid into Medicare. I don't care, I'm going to take it away from you anyway. Now, here, here comes the second level of callousness. A woman gets up and asks him about his free government-run health insurance. You're going to love his answer, let's watch. All right, I have a question about taking care of you. Yes, you get government-subsidized um, health care, yes, but you are not obligated to take that if you don't want to. Why aren't you going out on the free market in the state where you're a resident and buy your own health care? Use as an, be an example. Your question is, my government's willing to give me lots and lots of stuff for free. No, and you lead by example. No, you lead by example. Why aren't you leading by example and go and get it in a single subscriber plan like you want everybody else to have because you want to end employer-sponsored health cl plans and government-sponsored health plans. You said so in a letter to me that your goal is to get rid of the employer-sponsored oh, health care. Oh, okay, well, so why aren't you leading by example and go out yourself, decline the government health plan, and go to the you know, Blue Cross Blue Shield or whoever and get one for yourself and you'll see how tough it is. It, you don't have any pre-existing conditions, I guess. You haven't had any life-threatening illnesses like I had last year. This is why it's good to have these conversations. This is a bad information out there. You know, back when but you have to answer the question. Why haven't you gone out and done it? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought I did. It's because it's free. It's because it's free. The same reason I went out all brains and bought Activon when I don't have any arthritis pain. Because it's free. That's great. So he says, look, I'm a congressman. It's free to me. You continue to eat dirt. Okay. And she says, but look, you even said, one, you don't believe in government-run insurance. You have government-run insurance. Number two, apparently he even said that he was against employer-based insurance. And that's your employer. The reason it's free to you is because the government is your employer. So, but if you don't believe in that, why don't you go get insurance on your own? He's like, what do you think, I'm a sucker? Why do you think I became a congressman? No, 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 I get it for free. You get bupkis. And you paid into it, but who cares? I don't care that you paid into it. Here's another mound of dirt. Enjoy. Look, that's the Republican ideology. If you like that, okay. You know, where they tell you, go take care of yourself. I don't give a damn what you paid into or you didn't pay to into. I don't care if you can or can't get insurance. I got mine for free from the government. You get Get. And at Westhost offers web hosting for 19 cents a day. 
can't get cheaper. That's right. ridiculous. And you could do web host transfers. Like you got a website, boom, transfer. For free. You have 24 seven support. 60 day money back guarantee. Well, then you literally can't lose. 25% off if you go to westhost.com slash TYT. You know what I think about that? I think West Host. West Host. <laughs>